Welcome back to my last regular season Sunday League indoor game out here in Rockford, Illinois. And it just so happens the very last game of the season, we were playing the number one team in the league who has been number one since week one. Well, maybe if you are new to the channel, you haven't seen my content before. I've been recording every single one of my Sunday League games since week one of the 16 week season. Now, there's a lot at stake in this game because we did have a double header we played earlier, but I don't have the footage of it. We ended up winning. So there was a chance if we tied or win this game, we might end up jumping up to third place depending on the two teams that are ahead of us, what happens with them. Now to give some background on the team that we are playing, this is comprised of guys who have played soccer at a high level at college and university, some even playing semi-professional. Uh, this game was more back and forth than I think any game that we have played in the entire year, which kind of makes sense. If you've watched any of our videos, we struggle against a lesser competition while we're playing the best of the best. The top teams in the division we always hold our own. We look like we deserve to be in the position that we're in. And then came the first goal of the entire game, and it was a beauty free kick to kick off the scoring for Angel City FC. Here's left. Here's left. Watch back left. So close when I slowed it down I looked back at it I actually thought that I whiffed on it completely I was actually pretty close to getting a fingertip on it but that was how things started off 1-0 then I love when playing basic works out in your favor. This is actually, I think, my first official legit assist that I've had in indoor all year long, and it was made by beautiful play by. Myself, my boy Amon, getting the ball back to me and then sending the long ball to our striker, Aiden. Yes, yes! Oh, 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 oh. Behind, behind, behind. Keep it running, Aiden. You don't want to lose it. Yep. Yes, We score that beauty, but literally no longer than 20 seconds later, they got one right back. Basically, what you just watched was three goals in a span of two minutes. That sums up how competitive this game was. Now, at the start of the second half, the overall intensity of the game definitely picked up. It was a lot more physical. Uh, people starting to go back and forth, getting into it. Uh, but their attack definitely went up a few notches here in the second half. Atrocious refereeing here, by the way. I knocked the ball up and out, and I thought it was going to be a corner, so I just gave him the ball, and he let it play. And then we get our fourth goal of the game to go up 4-2. Four two lead, thirteen minutes left is nothing in indoor. Absolutely nothing. I've seen this Angel City team be down almost two nothing, three nothing with four minutes to go and be able to rattle off five goals. Oh, 
So to give a breakdown of what had happened there, we had been getting like back-to-back -back blue cards. This ref was just going blue card crazy. I had called out what was happening on the right side, told my defender to step, and honestly, I should have made the save. There's no reason I should have got beat near post, but just the velocity of the shot, two players that were standing in front of it couldn't really get my eyes completely on the ball. And we make a sub while they're on the attack, which ends up leading to the goal to tie the game at 4-4. Hey, someone middle, please. On set. And then with under two minutes to go, they scored a goal to put them up by one. Now this goal, I take full blame on. If I would have just went straight out, made myself big with my body facing, I stopped this ball 100%. But still, there are situations that I'm in with my injuries that I've had that have just made me so hesitant to just put my body straight in front of the ball. So definitely my fault on that. So with time working completely against us, uh, we had to just go all out to try to make it happen. I was even playing hard just to be an option if I absolutely needed to. But we finally got our goal to tie things up at 5-5 with about 25 seconds to spare. That's how the game came to a close. 5-5 draw against the number one team in the league. This puts us in third place coming into the playoffs. I appreciate everyone's support so far throughout this indoor season. Playoffs are in a couple weeks, so we're going to be a break from the goalkeeper content for Sundays at least, but I'll see you all in the next video.